Okay, so we've got our web page, our home page up, and there's not much going on there, but hey, it's a it's a web page and it's up. So in this video, I want to talk about the base.html file. So think about a website, right? If you go to any website, they're all pretty much laid out the same thing, the same way. They have almost all websites. They have some sort of nav bar at the top. They usually always have some sort of footer section at the bottom. And it really usually doesn't matter what page you go to. Those things are the same on every page, right? You always have the same nav bar at the top. We've always got the same footer stuff at the bottom, almost always, right? Well, it's kind of silly to put those, to put the code for those on every single web page you have because a lot of websites have hundreds, even thousands of web pages. And what if you create a nav bar code on every single page? And then you want to add another link sometime in the future. A month from now, you create a new web page. You want to put a link to it on the nav bar. Well, you're going to have to go to all of your web pages and change the code on every single one to add that one little link. And if you have thousands, even tens of thousands, I've literally owned websites with millions of pages. There's no way I'm going to make a change on a million pages. It's not possible. But if every one of those pages is pulling that code, for the nav bar from another file, then you can just change it in that one file and then the, the change will reflect on all the other hundreds, thousands, millions of pages. So that's what we always want to kind of set up, a system that allows for that. And that's what we use the base.html file for. The base is the base file. It's the thing that has all the stuff that's going to be the same on every page. So your header, your footer, stuff like that. So let's do that now I'll show you how to work through this. So let's go over to our templates and right click and create a new file and then come up to file and then save as and we want to call this base.html. Now inside of here we want to put some embedded Python and to do that we use squiggly brackets open and close and we put the uh, this guy the percentage sign now this will designate this as an open and a close uh, embedded Python tag, right? So here we want to type in block content. And then below here, we want to do the same thing, open and close tags. And we want to type in block. So what we're doing here is we're creating a block. And inside of here, we're going to pull everything from other pages. So like all of this stuff, right? What this does is it kind of copies this stuff, whatever's in this file, and it kind of puts it in there, right? Automatically for every page of your site, right? So above here, we could put in our header stuff. And below here, we can put in our footer stuff, whatever that stuff is. And we're good to go. So let's just save this. Now we need to make a quick change to our actual web page, our home.html file. And this change will be, you'll, you'll do this on every single web page you ever create. So we need to put a couple of tags. Again, this uh, embedded Python here. So we want to extend base, oh, needs to be in quotation marks, base.html. We're saying, hey, use the base.html file, right? Now, here we need to define what's going to be pulled out of this file and put into the base. So we do the same exact commands. In fact, I can just copy this, uh, both of them actually. And we just paste that in. And now let's move this inside of here. So now we've defined that this stuff will get pulled out of this file and then put inside of these two, com uh, these two uh, lines of code right here. All right, so we save this, save this. Now let's head back over to our server and hit reload and boom, now we see header stuff on the top, footer stuff on the bottom, we're still on our page. So let's create another about page really quickly. So I'm going to go up to templates, right click, new file, and file, save as, let's save this as about.html. I'm just going to copy my home page here and paste this in, but instead of hello world, we want this to now say about me, I guess. Control S to save that. Now let's create a view for it real quick. I'm just going to copy this one and change this to about. We want to re render about.html. All right, so save that. Now we need a URL. I'm just going to copy this guy and 
paste it in, but instead of having nothing, we want this to be about.html, the actual uh, URL, and we want it to point to views.about, and we want the name to be about. So if we save this and head back to our page and go to the about thing, boom, and again, this stuff gets put on every page. And like I said, if we come back to our base.html, and we make some change, so uh, changed header stuff, save this, come back and hit reload for our about page, that gets reflected there. If we go back to our home page and hit reload, that gets affected there. So all we have to do is make a change to that base.html file and it'll get reflected on every single web page that we have. Very, very cool and very, very simple. So, all right, we're starting to come right along. Now our website looks pretty terrible at this point. It's just, you know, some text shoved up in the corner like that. So in the next video, I think we'll start to look at the Bootstrap CSS framework to get a little bit of style going and uh, stuff like that. So that'll be in the next video.